I will tell you this. After 20 years of being drunk and high, you wake up, look at the world that we're in now. It's a messed up place, isn't it? And I'll tell you, two of the biggest messed up things that I've noticed, George Bush and Dr. Phil. <laughs> what the hell happened? Was I asleep? When did we decide to take a cultural pit stop in Texas, okay? These ass clowns are dispensing information that makes no sense. Dr. Phil, $175 million a year for the stupidest, most insane information and advice. Do you listen to this guy? He's like, you know what your problem is? Your problem is you don't know what your problem is. And when you figure out what your problem is, well, that's a start and you'll know what your problem is. <laughs> the f is that, Dr. Phil? Come on. I don't get it. And you know, women love him. Chicks go crazy for him. They love him. Do you know he actually, he said they send panties to him. Okay, I can't get laid, and girls are sending their panties. I love you, Dr. Phil. I love you. You know why? Because he humiliates guys on national television. He loves to do this. He gets some guy in Oprah, and he's like, I want you to say you're an ass. I, I don't want to say I'm an ass, Dr. Phil. Say you're an ass. I, I don't want to. Well, that's part of your problem. You got to say you're an ass. All right, I I'm an ass. Say it like you mean it. I'm an ass, Dr. Phil. Say it like you mean it. I'm an ass, Dr. Phil. I'm an ass. The girls go crazy. They start applauding. They're sending him freaking panties. <laughs> now do you feel better? No? Well, how do you feel? I feel like an ass. And a bigger ass because I just said it on national television. Well, that's your problem. 